Hello guys, today let's create a coin effect in Niagara. Now we trigger this event, coin will drop around the charter, just like the death effect in the finals. Ok, first we need a static mesh of coin, just a simple cylinder. And we also need a material I made in Substance Painter. You can download them for free in my Patreon. Ok, now let's create a Niagara system. First, we change sim target to GPU sim and add a spawn burst in emitter update. The value is 1000. Ok. Also, we need a mesh rendered. Use our coin. Then, we need a skeletal mesh location in particle spawn. The preview mesh we can use mannequin. Well, the coin is a little too big. Let's change it mesh size. Uniform. The size is 0.03. Okay, it looks good. Also, we need to change mesh sampling type to surface triangles. In this way, coins will be spawned on the surface of the charter. Then, let's add a velocity from point to make coins spread around. Also, we need to change the velocity origin. The position is a sampled charter position. Okay, now we can see the coin is spread around. Then, let's change velocity speed. We need a random range. The mean is 100, max is 200. Also, we need a gravity force in particle update. Just keep default value. It's okay. Now, let's add a collision to make simulate physical effect. Collision type, we use distance field. And bounce, we use a random range. 0 to 0 0.7 and friction we also need a random range value here we use 0 0.5 to 1 now let's check it in the level okay it looks good we can also enable advanced aging rate if we set the value to 1 the lifetime of the particle will be shortened and we can see that Part of coin has disappeared when it falls. And if we set the value to zero, particle lifetime will be default, 5 seconds. Here we can set it to 0 0.3. Ok, now let's check the coin. We may find that its orientation is strange. In simulate physical, its orientation should be towards the Z axis that is facing upwards, but now it's in every direction. So let's add a module to change the orientation of coin, align particles with collision plane. Here we don't need X and Y axis, we just need Z axis. Now let's check it in the level. Ok, we can see the coin is under the floor, so let's change the collision radius. Set it to 5. Ok. Now the coin is a right orientation. We can also control the rate at which coin aligns to the z-axis. The value is larger, the faster it aligns to the z-axis. If we change it to 100, we can see that basically when it falls, it's already in the direction of z-axis. Here we can use a random range value. 1 to 5. It's okay. 
Oh yes, we still have the most important thing that we haven't changed yet. In collision, we need control row on collision. Now it looks better. Then let's create a blueprint. We need to attach the Nagra to the shelter. First, we need the spawn system attached. Attached to component, we need to promote a parameter. And the valuable type is third person charter. Okay, get mesh and connect it to attach to component. Here we use our Negra system and put the blueprint in the level. Let's run. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's check it. Oh, errors. We need to select third person charter in our blueprint. Select the charter. Yeah, it worked. We can also use a custom event to trigger this effect. Also, we can use a button. Here we use keyboard Q to trigger it. Okay, save the blueprint. And in class defaults, we need auto process input to player zero. Let's run. Now, if we press the keyboard Q, the charter will spawn the coins. Alright, we need to change Nagra's loop behavior. Now it's infinite, we need it to once. Okay, that's it. Coins will be spawned only when we trigger this event. And we also need to set our charter's visibility. Because when coins are spawned, the charter is dead, so we need it invisible. Set mesh visibility and make sure it's invisible. Okay, save the blueprint. And let's see it in the level. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.